What's going on guys, it's James. Uh, most of you know me as GodDSM here on YouTube, but on PB Nation, I go by a different handle. Everybody on there calls me NJ Immortal. And most people on PB Nation associate me with the Die i3. Uh, because for a solid year or so, I think I bought every i3 that ended up in the BST. Just really couldn't help myself. People were just PMing me, letting me know, hey, I'm gonna sell one, I wanna give you first dibs. It was that out of control. So uh, over that year or so, I gained a lot of knowledge about this mask, and uh, I started customizing them here and there, all like a jazz, and I started cutting i3 bottoms into i3 pro bottoms, and uh, a few guys asked me how I did it, and I want to share that with you guys today, because I don't want to cut them for other people. I really don't. It, it takes away from the fun of me doing it for myself. And you guys gain some knowledge. I feel it's a win-win for everybody. So before I go into that, I just want to go over some history with the die bottoms. Uh, the die A3 is actually the last version to come out. The first version being the die Envision bottom. Little fun facts about this bottom. They only came in black. The vents in these came in different colors, red, blue, green, all that good jazz, brown, but the main color, the, the, the main bottom color of this was black. They were all black. Um, something that's remained the same since their beginning is the way the frame attaches to the bottoms. This slit right here on the nose, and then there's six buttons right here, these stems and buttons right here. Two under each eye, right here, there you go, four, uh, four, and then two up top. That never changed. Uh, something that did change about these though, the material. This material, I mean, it's, I won't call it stiff, it's stiffer than the i3 bottoms today, the i3 Pro bottoms today. This is much stiffer, and because it's much stiffer, it's much more brittle. That had to go. Um, another fun fact about these, these are three piece. The mouth area of this is all one piece. Separates right here. Uh, let's try to get that in line. Ah, there we go. The seam right here separates the mouth area from a hard ear. These had replaceable hard ears. Really strange. Um, let's see if I could get a shot of. There you go. This system right here of how it connects. It connects with more buttons and like these slits. It's just really ridiculous. Um, for comfort's sake, they put in these foam pads. These, I mean, they're, they're big chunky foam pads and they are comfortable, I guess, but replaceable hard ears is a little ridiculous. And because this material is just brittle and stiff, they had to move on. So. They went from the Envision bottom to this. This is the I3 bottom. I3 bottom is one piece. Does not have replaceable hard or soft ears. The whole ear is the same material as the bottom half, the flexi half of these bottoms. This mask is, this mask bottom, sorry is much heavier than the Envision bottom, but it's much more durable. It's much more flexible. It's just completely different feel to it. Um, essentially the same shape, same vent shape. The vents are pretty much identical. Slightly different shape, um, pretty much the same though. Uh, again, this never changed, the slit and the, the six nubs, but Right here, they changed it. Let's see, I already drew the line. But uh, they changed it to one full hard ear. This is not detachable, it's all integrated into the bottom. There you go. Uh, they kept these foam pads though. Check that out. There you go. Kept the foam pads for comfort's sake. But again, this bottom was much heavier than the Envision bottom. Uh, it is much more durable, but it's much heavier. So to lighten it up, they went with this. This is the i3 Pro bottom. This doesn't weigh anything. It's made out of the same 
ridiculously flexible, durable material as the i3 bottom. It's just probably half the weight, maybe a little less. Uh, again, didn't change with the groove. The six nubs are the same. What they did do is cut off all that material that made the hard ear. And instead of making removable hard ears or replaceable hard ears, they came out with these. These are i3 Pro soft ears. It's a, it's a foam, like heat compressed in fabric and nylon. Uh, these are attached with little pieces of hardware, very similar to the Flex. Check it out. A little tiny piece of hardware. There's one set on each side. Uh, it's attached right here, this middle hole right here. Into these holes right here on the side. It goes up here. So, this weighs next to nothing. Breathes very well. Same nub system. And uh, it's just amazing. It's, it's the pinnacle of the i3, it really is. So, now that I have that squared away, you guys have a little history lesson on the i3. I'll show you how I was converting i3 bottoms to i3 Pro bottoms. Again, drastic difference in weight. And uh, I just prefer the comfort of these. Safety with the ears, these ears are great. They cover your ear very well, uh, just as well as these. Side by side, there's really no difference. I'll take nice pictures for you guys too. Um, I'll show you guys what you guys are going to need and how it's done. First and foremost, you need an i3 bottom. <laughs> All right. Of course, you need this. Um, it would help if you had an i3 Pro bottom, but not mandatory. I'll show you guys the path you need to go on. Uh, ballpoint pen. It's the first tool you're going to need for this conversion. It's, everybody should have this. Um, please don't use a Sharpie marker. This is used to draw your outline on the mask. If you use a Sharpie and it's not on a black material like this, it's going to soak right in like, like on this. If you're drawing on the gray bottoms or the red bottoms or even the blue, if you draw on this with Sharpie, this material is super absorbent. It's going to soak in that, that ink and you'll never get it out, ever. I don't care what you use, it's, it's going to soak into this material and never get it out. So do yourself a favor, use a ballpoint pen. Uh, because I'm using ballpoint pen, I like to use alcohol prep pads to remove my lines, my accidental lines. And uh, just in cleaning up the edges when I'm done, remove any ink that I left behind. So these things are great. Um, here we go. Industrial pair of scissors. Don't use paper cutting scissors. The material on the i3 bottom is super resilient to ripping and tearing. So get a really, really good pair of scissors. And a rotary tool. On the rotary tool, just have a sanding wheel. This is medium grit sandpaper on here, Dremel branded. Um, if you are gonna use power tools, guys, come on, safety first. And uh, let's get the show on the road. I'll show you guys how to cut them. All right, here we go. This is the i3 bottom. Uh, for comparison's sake, I'm gonna keep this handy. It's the i3 Pro bottom. So, here we go. First and foremost, the easiest thing to outline are these vents right here. This teardrop vent system right here. This, this one. Um, as you can see here, it's complete. There's three holes back here on this bottom strap area. And uh, this teardrop vent is complete. Those are the first things you want to notice. So you want to see these vents right here, the teardrop, and these three holes in the backstrap area. Okay. Here it is on the i3 Pro. Those vents are completely gone. All right. The teardrop right here is complete. It's perfect. The first hole is complete. The second one is half gone. All right. Then you'll notice these four circles right here are complete. This small one on the end is half gone. See that divot? 
there you go. Half gone. All right, just take note of that. So now, when we come back to here, your first line is gonna be connecting the tops of these vents here. All right, so just connect these. Again, ballpoint pen. It's the easiest to remove. It's still easy enough to see. Okay, that's your first line there, see it? Now, you wanna draw a line from the second circle, second circle here, straight down, straight down, all right, see it there? You wanna continue this line from this vent system under the teardrop and meet up to that line. So, come across here. You don't have to be an artist to do this. It's, it's basically going to guide your hand for you. And try to keep the lines organic at these corners. You don't want harsh lines. Everything on here is very free-flowing, very organic. Keep it that way. So, as I said before, those four circles right here, one, two, three, four, are all intact. This one is half gone. Right, these these three were non-existent on the pro bottom. So what you want to do is draw a line connecting these three rings right at the edge. See them? Try to show the. There you go. All right. Continue from this circle down to your half, right down here. Okay, here it is. Now, bring that line through this circle, the furthest small one at the top, okay? So, continue the line up through the middle of it. Easy. That's the easiest part right there, is the strap section and these vents. Next, you'll see up here, this strange shaped vent right here in the back. It's non-existent on the pro bottom. So what you want to do is bring the line to, there's a little, I'll try to show this, right here, in the beginning of the vent, there's a line that continues out a little bit. As soon as it stops, the beginning of that vent, bring your line up from that circle up to the beginning of that vent. So here we go. Here's that beginning of the vent. Bring that up. Okay. Here's my line. See the vent? That's really good lighting for that. Now bring that line to the tip of the vent, of the top tip of the vent, and continue it all the way to the top, and that'll be your top edge. See what I mean? It's, it's The vents are guiding your hand as to where to go, so. Bring that down. Continue it evenly. with the more stiffer plastic. Just guide it the same distance all the way to the tip. All right. Let's see if you can see that. There you go. That's the line. All right, so you'll see it all the way up here through the strap area the strap area there we go nice light all right this part's a little it's not bad this is the hardest part though what you want to do is you want to continue this line from this section of vents down and around to here all right it's easy the first time you do it the first half 
the difficult part is matching it up with the other side. You want it to be even on both sides. So I'm gonna just try to keep it equidistant the whole way through from here straight down. Once I have a good line going, I'll bring it down and around in here. Try to keep the, the distance equal. That whole gap between this vent and the edge. This vent right here. The, the vent's divot right here. So, here we go. Bring it down. Kind of sharp. But again, keep it organic. Keep it round. Bring it down. There we go, that's all it takes. See that? Now, before you start cutting, do the other side. Outline the other side before you cut anything. All right, because you could always take the mask, hold it this way towards you, and bring the corners in so that they match right here. And then you can see how equal both sides are. All right, this material is very durable, it's very flexible, you don't have to worry about breaking it. Just match everything up, see how much more you have to go, see if everything's equal on both sides, because this is the only part you really have to do freehand. Everything else is pretty much guided for you with the vents. The vents dictate, see? Comes up to that corner of the vent, up top, to this corner of the vent, same vent, top corner, and straight through, keeping a nice equal distance from your new edge to the hard plastic just all the way up all right again these bubbles show you these circles rather show you where the line is going to be placed down through here the half circle bring it down and around through these vents so all that's pretty much guided for you these vents tell you the edges of these vents tell you where you're going to have to cut this is the only part you have to do freehand so again just fold it over uh, if you have to erase a line, use the rubbing alcohol, come right off, and redraw your line. Once that's done, cut it with your scissors. Uh, leave a good, you know, I don't know, two, three millimeters from your line. Don't cut the line. Leave yourself some wiggle room. You can take off very, very small amounts at a time with this. I'm not going to do it here at my, my kitchen table. I don't want little ground up bits all over my kitchen table um, just take your time go slow um, just stay true to your lines once your lines are there everything's guided for you just go slow go on the slowest speed on your Dremel take your time make it professional do do a clean job you'll love the results afterward just the one I did um, the edges will clean themselves up with the wheel. What I was saying, like, stay organic, stay round. The wheel's gonna do it for you. So, if you're using a nice sanding wheel on there, it's gonna make nice organic edges for you. You don't really have to stress it too heavily. There you go. Most people can't tell that this used to be an i3. Check it out. Uh, the only difference in the bottoms you're going to notice is the lip across the bottom right here it's this this lip makes the i3 bottom much stiffer and i prefer that over the i3 bottom the i3 pro bottom rather sorry is missing that whole lip it's gone it's a little bit at the at the chin but everything else is missing um you don't have to take all that off. If you want to, by all means, go right ahead. Uh, I think it's a lot more work for you. I wouldn't do it. I'd rather it be a little lower, a little bit more stiffer. I just feel safer that way. But um, yeah, essentially, that's it. So again, take your time, draw nice lines, match it up, go slow, and enjoy. Uh, the only other thing you're gonna need is a pair of ears when you're done. So don't forget that. Go out, buy nice soft ears, try to get them new if you can. Um, yeah.
enjoy it. Hope this was very helpful for you guys. And uh, I hope you subscribe, like, all that good jazz. And I'll catch you later. Thank you very much. Later, guys. They have detachable, removable i3 soft ears. Oh, I should have brought a set of those out. Gotta start this over. <coughs> I feel great. Same. Um, uh, oof, god damn, that felt good. The first being the Envision bottom. Mistake to drink carbonated shit before doing this. Bad, bad idea. Really bad idea.